another episode of the Ottoman Empire where we are doing a World Congress series in the Sermon and we are trying not to become the sick men of Europe. Although, I, I don't know how much validated that title is anymore now that we basically conquered a lot of Europe. We also have a lot of factories that are basically destroyed due to us invading. This is all of basically um, Austria's factories and we just opened them up because we could, because we could and because we're nice people. So now we got all of Austria's factories now working for us. Now we got more men operating for us. I mean, we basically got a big gigantic land. So what we're going to do quickly, guys, we're gonna quickly going to go conquer all of this land. Now that we got all of this land underneath our control, go to Russia. Can't do it yet. Can't do it quite yet, but we're going to in a couple seconds. Okay, what we're basically going to do is we're basically going to sit here, and I mean literally sit here, and wait until we can do what I need to do. Because I really don't care how the rest of this war is going to go. I mean, I really don't. Until we get that Causes Belli to go attack them, it really doesn't matter how this war is going to go. And as you guys can see, Russia is going to be pretty powerful. But I'm pretty sure with the combined efforts of both the British and the Prussians, they basically have no chance. I mean, they're outnumbered. But they're not outnumbered by a lot. So anyways, let's keep our third opposition. I, I don't really care. Okay, but we're just going to sit right here until b most of our friends... Okay, seems like you guys are adding that. Uh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we're going to have to decrease speed. We're going to have to go even slower because I'm going to have to gain this just at the right time. Six, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do this at just the right time to where everyone else is going to be happy. We also got a Spanish conquest, so... Definitely, we are geared towards, uh, we're going to be soon geared towards uh, fighting the uh, uh, French here very, very soon. But first, we have to finish off our other good friends. The uh, Well, honestly, they're not really our friends because they didn't really like us that much. They're the Russian Empire. And I'm hoping Prussia's not going to take this too lightly because they still could go and destroy them pretty hardcore. So, like, right now, I'm pretty sure they're destroying them pretty hardcore. I mean, I basically have no army. The Prussians have no army. It's basically all up to people. I'm also going to make sure that my army... Well, I'm not going to make sure my other friend's army doesn't die. Because the Russians could definitely overpower us, as I've already said this. They could definitely overpower us at any point. I'm going to need as many men as I can to go and fight this. Hopefully, the British will go send in more men to go help us. If they don't... We could have difficulties. It's a good... Oh, and it seems like the uh, two Sicilies have gotten military access to them. That's good. I didn't think they would. Like, let's see. And if we can't fight them in this war... Uh, the other... Ah, uh, dang. Let's see. Why'd you guys have to do that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I didn't even see... Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seems like there's some things going on around here. Ooh. Yeah, retreat, retreat. Yeah, I did not notice that. Yeah, it seems like they're definitely winning. As I said, these guys are definitely jerks when it comes to expansion. They are chasing my army. No, they aren't. Good. Good thing they weren't chasing my army. Because my army is basically weak right now. Okay, everyone go right here. Everyone go right here to this state. Let's see, how are we doing? Are they completely destroying us right now? I would highly doubt that they would not be destroying us. No, it seems like the Prussians are making slight moves in. But we don't have that massive amounts of uh, British army that we did in the first time we did this. So, like, oh, can we add yet? Can we add yet? Come on, don't you dare. Hey, guys, don't you dare add anything else. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. War is not going well enough. Okay, come on. Can we add? No. Come on. Don't add anything more, people. Don't add anything more. Once I can add it, then I can actually start focusing in on the rest of the uh, micromanaging. But I'm really worried about the rest of this stuff. Sardinia looks like it's also dying too, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's discombine these two units. Because we actually have enough for two armies now, people. Seems like the British might be moving up through here too. No? No, it's just my imagination. <laughs> uh, the Prussians look like they're crushing through a lot of like Russian resistance. But how long will that last? I have no clue, people. This is definitely going to be one of our biggest wars, but we have to make sure we can get what we need out of this. I don't even care about the rest of it. Oh, dang it. Actually, no, this is actually pretty good. Never mind. 
Actually, I'm completely fine with what with what is going to happen. You know why? And I'll tell you why, people. Because if we get a cut down to size Kazbelai against the uh, mighty Russian Empire, what that basically means is that we could potentially destroy a lot. Of, we could potentially, if we go to war with France, destroy the entire army. Especially if we have Spain on our side. Yeah. This could go really well. I bet you guys could always see the like implications that we could do off of this. Okay, it seems like they're also building up a tiny bit of an army resistance over here. We're going to go try to destroy them. Of course, there is a chance that we might lose this, and this was a terrible mistake. But, eh, I can't really help that now. <laughs> I mean, we're basically going to be fighting this no matter what we do, so... Yeah. Pressure, I mean, yeah, pressure. Oh, and since now, since... Since the uh, Spanish are on our side, what we could try to do is try to get the uh, is try to get them to declare war on their precious little friends of. Oh wait, they're not friends anymore. Yes. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, Spain declare war and fight for our um, Portuguese colonies. That way, we can easily get Portugal out of the game. Also, we need to go start thinking about Dutch because the Dutch are in now or in these days. I've heard. Okay. We're going to now go send both of our armies to go attack these guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to have enough. Oh, my goodness. We got destroyed. Okay, retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was a complete another... Yeah. Oh, man. The Russians are really good at moving in. Okay. So, since the Russians are probably going to destroy us if we don't do this... Oh, wait, wait. Get get off this. Get, get up. There we go. Okay, I don't know what I just did, but I think I just created a new text document in the background. I mean, you guys won't see it, but it's there. It's there. So yeah, the Russians completely destroyed my entire army. We have a insane amounts of, of uh, you know, stuff happening. So I'm just going to stop tariffing as much. And yeah, I'll, we have really good economics right now because I have no bed. That's really sad to say, but I have really no bed. So we're basically just kind of just stuck here in this inanimate loop of where I have no men. And I'm basically stuck here in this inanimate loop. Oh gosh. The Prussians though are moving in with the German Blitzkrieg. It should be effective, I, I believe. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of mad I didn't get to like do anything of the sorts in terms of like moving in. But like, it can't really be helped. I mean, seriously, I was... <laughs> My troops are terrible. Let's be honest here. My troops are just terrible. Okay, bureaucrats have finally reached the maximum. Work smarter. Have finally reached the maximum in this province. So now we can decrease the focus. Let's see. Admin focus, strength, whatever. We need to start working on some of this. Let's start working on this place right here. This is really, really, like, strenuous. Alright. And it looks like we probably... Uh, this might have been into a more costly war than I thought. It seems like the Russians are definitely not going to let us just walk in. I mean, I knew they weren't going to let us walk in, but, like, they're not going to let us walk in. They're going to be like, yeah, no. Okay. But they ended the war. I'm pretty sure the Russians are in cut down to size. Okay. And we just had the Austrian, the North Germanic Federation form. Okay. Now, why is this important? Because that means we have way better stats and way better stuff. Let me go get Portugal for a quick second, okay? Conquest. There we go. Wait, do I want to do that now? Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, yes. No. Do I want to do that now? Uh, yes. I believe what we're going to do is we're going to do that now. By the way, the Russians now hate us. Yes? No, they still kind of like us. I'm guessing because of our great militaristic alliances, they won't join in on any of our sides, though, but they kind of do still like us. It's amazing how people can easily be, easily be friends with each other, even though they hate each other. Alright. Well, anyways, it seems like Sweden somehow became a great power. So, that happened. Uh... It seems like these guys are also kind of in the spheres of these guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to casually and calmly conquer the Swedish. But you guys are wondering, why am I going to conquer the Swedish? Oh, wait. Deal with the crisis. 
Christ is dealing with, oh shoot, this is me. Uh, crisis solution. Uh, Romania cry No! I should have at least the UK and the Great British to back me up. That's all I need. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have the Great British. Let's see. France, you wanna kind of... I, I propose a solution. They would not accept this. Let's see, and then, uh... Let's see. How would you guys, like... Yeah, you guys are gonna join my side. Oh man, dang it! I don't. I kind of need them to join our side. That way we don't. Because I don't want to end up in one of those stupid, like, crises wars where, like, we gain nothing out of it. It's just going to be a gigantic war of, uh, basically nothing. So let's see. Can I just, like, uh, increase relations? I hate to do this. Increase relationships so that they like us. Uh, excellent. Let's see. And then France, are you guys going to give up yet? France, we have literally everyone against you. No. You guys are being stubborn. Let's see. Would you guys join against us? No. These guys are even more Solomon now. They're oath. Well, then, I'm going to justify... That's... Oh, man. What's that basically going to do, guys? That's basically going to slow us down for, like, a couple of years. Because, of course, the French are not going to give up. They're going to be like, Oh, yeah, we could totally beat you. herpa derpa derpa let me demobilize so that we can have a less of a, you know, crisis army. Then we're going to try to build up an army again. This time, we're actually going to keep it a little bit modern, maybe. Five, seven, eight. Uh, get some Hussias, uh, Yakusias. Get four of those and get one artillery. There we go. But yeah, we're just basically going to fight this war and it's going to be really annoying because it's going to be all this kind of, like... Seriously stupid stuff. The ally with the Russians. God, gosh dang it. The Russians are becoming an annoying power. Russia, you have literally the alliances of everyone I don't want you to have. White piece? Sure, we can get a white piece. Good job. Okay, let's get back to over here what I was going to do. Okay, because this is what I was going to do. I'm going to try to conquer Sweden. That way we just get the Swedes out of the way quickly. Um, and also prevents another alliance from entering in on all this. And over here in France. And we need to... I wish there was a way I could break this Russian-French alliance. Because this is going to be quite annoying. Or I should say disconcerting. The better word for this is probably disconcerting. Because, like, they're going to keep this alliance no matter what. And I really need to figure out how to break it. Because a couple of my own friends are in this. By the way. Start influencing the Sicilies to make sure that they're on my side. Let's get that, uh... Let's get some of this stuff. Because I really would like my army to be a little bit more powerful. And let's see. Let's go after... Let's go after Sweden. I don't really care. My population is literally at 18 million right now. And right now, the only accepted cultures are, like, Turkish. That's really sad. Oh my goodness, there's a big gigantic, like, spider in my room. That's kind of cool, but kind of scary at the same time. Okay, we just got another event. So now what we're going to do is release another nation. Let's see, who should we release this time? Releasing time, releasing time. Lombardia. Lombardia might be good because I don't really want to keep Italy. Uh, Cyprus, though. Yeah, let's release Cyprus. There we go. That way to make sure that everyone joins in on our side. And that way Cyprus is now a little bit less with us. I don't really care about... Well, now I care because I just realized that they're in alliance with the uh, Frenchies. But I really don't care about Argentina. So that's for attentions! Yay! Alright, we're just going to try to take over... We're just going to try to use the North Germanic Federation to take over the rest of... The rest of, basically, Sweden. And then what we're going to try to do is... We're slowly trying to build up a good-sized army, but it's really becoming slow. But as soon as we take over Sweden, we could probably move into another, um, I guess the next place we could probably conquer is Portugal, because Portugal has a couple colonies, which would be nice to take over. Yeah, Portugal's next, and then we definitely need to start, like, a different war. Man, that spy is moving everywhere. Um, <laughs> the policy still stands. Uh, let's see, two Sicilies, yeah, I'm just investing all my points into you guys. You guys are going to be my, my BFFs, Okay. I won't conquer you yet, but I will eventually have to add the Italian boot to my borders, but for right now, you guys can be fine. 
Okay, there we go. Start the war. No one's on this side yet, so everyone should be like... And everyone should be really happy to join in, because... I'm really not that high of infamy. Yes, there we go. Everyone joined in. And now we just wait. I mean... The Germans should be able to destroy almost all of their forces, and the British are going to destroy all of their sea powers. Sweden's gonna die. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that now. Sweden's gonna die. It's just gonna depend on how long is it gonna take for Sweden to die, though. Two Sicilies. Definitely gonna be my friend. You guys are gonna be my friend. Yeah. You guys, because you guys are just so good as a vassal. I can't, I cannot let you guys through. I cannot let you guys go away. And then the reason why I need to conquer Sweden is just to make sure they don't form another great alliance that, like, gets this unholy matrimony right here. Oh, my goodness. I won't, I mean, even if we have, oh, Netherlands, you want an alliance back. Huh. You know, Netherlands, no. <laughs> uh, you guys kind of blew your alliance offers once you guys, uh, you know, uh, disobeyed me. Actually, you know, actually, let's accept this alliance. Why? Because I kind of need them for right now. Let's start justifying a war against our good friends of Portugal. Portugal. And let's go add our intervene immediately. Gain this. Strategic mobility. I'm pretty sure... Let's see, if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure... Oh my goodness, they're doing exactly what I need them to do. They're moving right next to the British borders, which the British are going to be mad if they try to conquer any of this. They're going to send troops up through here, conquer all the African provinces. Yes. And probably need to go send like a couple of troops to go kill Manchu. But that won't be too hard, I believe. In fact, let's go Let's go start that integration process now. First, let's combine all these guys. Combine all these guys. Then discombine them. Let's go send half of these over here. Let's go start sending some people over to Manchu. Let's go get these guys right here. Go get these guys right here. Go increase speed. Yeah, I don't really need to be slowing down because this is really an all action packed series. Well, I'm just conquering as much swabs of land as I can. You guys get on the boats. Now let's go. We're going to first send them to right here. That way we have uh, good naval access, I should say. And then from there, what we're going to do is go send them all the way over here to China. Aww. Oh, they're coming for us, everyone, but it was a little bit too late. They're coming for us a little bit later than I thought. So, they'll be coming for us, but they're not coming for us right now. Oh, my goodness. Alright. The Germans are obviously going to move in pretty quickly. Let's see if we can end today's episode with us just conquering all of them. And after this, I gotta start thinking about what nation I want to free next. Well, we could probably free Israel now. I mean, really, I'm not really using the Israeli land anymore because they're not really providing anything. So, we could probably free them next. Or Ukraine. Ukraine might be a good one. Yeah, we still, we don't want to free any of these big ones. Or Algeristan. Algeristan might actually be a good one too because, like, let's be honest here. I will never use Algeristan at all. Okay, flash point tensions. And as you can see... The entire forces of the Germans, everyone moving in, destroying all my land for me. They're coming for us. Wow, we really, we really want the Portuguese to die. <laughs> we really want the Portuguese to die, people. Now look at the Portuguese. The Portuguese are going to be cowering in their boots. And look at that. Now we got all of that underneath our control. We got 24 relationships. Oh my goodness, we're just... We are literally the big bullies of the world. Let's just make a new entire new army. Tiny new army, six, three, six, that's good enough right there. Make an entirely new army right there, that will help, let's see, wait, who's who's at war right now, because I don't want to be in a war that's pretty stupid, uh, am I bigger than all these guys? Because if I'm not bigger than any of these guys, there's no point in going into the war. 39, oh my goodness, hmm. Because if I can call all my allies in, this would be really good. Wait. Before I do that, though, I have to do one thing, which is uh, release the nation of Algeristan. Yeah, I, I basically decided let's release Algeristan. Because Algeristan is Algeristan. So now release them. Um, We want to be... Before I get into this war, I'm going to see if I can build some quick troops. Get my troop count bigger than theirs. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to cancel. I didn't mean to cancel. Oh, my goodness. I don't think Spain's ever going to get that back for me. So, 
Seems like we just lost our biggest contender for our... Oh, and we lost, we out of time, people. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on our conquest of the rest of the world.